Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh, it's hump day, people. I actually turned on the video before I wanted to. Whoops, but it's all good. We're doing it live. First off, got the coffee, check. Second off, we're gonna get a little bit of music going, check. And I should say, I don't own the rights to any of this music that I'm going to play. That's why I'm going to try and find instrumentals that aren't attached to anybody. Because I can't play any cool stuff because they'll flag my video on Face page and not let me jam out with you. So crazy. So crazy. What do we got here? What do we got? Okay. It's hump day. I'm feeling it. First, there's an ad by our sponsors. So halfway through the work week, well, it's different if you're in my world. Today's actually my Friday. Car salespeople have weird days off, okay? But uh, if you're halfway through your work week, it's time to take a deep breath and finish the second half uh, and, and start to you know, press that throttle down and squeeze, the, squeeze some more RPMs out of life right now. We gotta stay moving, we gotta stay motivated, we have to stay positive, you know? Whatever's happened yesterday, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Your choice to stay positive is today. It's right in between your ears and you have to have it. You know, um, must be nice. Well, you don't know that I just, uh, I just, I just you, you know how many hours I put in here. It's cool. It's cool. But uh, uh, what I wanted to get going is some good vibes. I no, this music isn't gonna work. Bear with me. We gotta get going more. Gotta get going more. Why so many ads? It's because I don't subscribe to the whatever it is. The and fax machine is full. Anyways, I'm gonna pause for the cause while that is going. Uh, talking about keeping your motivation this week as we keep moving, keeping the momentum moving forward. Right? Yesterday, a little update. Yesterday was kind of a grind. It was a grind yesterday. Had some action here. Had some people moving. Always are staying in motion. Activity breeds activity. So if I'm not physically in front of a person selling a car, then I'm trying to find a person to get in front of to sell a car. That's the way I'm always moving towards that goal. So uh, you, you can't be complacent. You can't sit down. You have to stop getting caught. Uh, you have to stop getting caught uh, in, in what we call, you know, the, the not, I don't want to call it the loser's lounge. Maybe I will. You got, you got to stop being complacent, damn it. And if you find yourself sitting there and all of a sudden you've been watching YouTube for three hours, you've been playing Bubble Blaster on your phone for four hours and you, you, the time gets away from you, it's whatever. Toss your phone. Set some, set some timers on your phone. It's okay to have a little bit of downtime. It's okay to take a little bit of rate, a little bit of a break so you can get that big breath before you push again. And you have to. I do the same thing, but you gotta have limits on it. You have to have limits, you have to set, you have to set those time limits. And time management is important. So today, take a deep breath, get ready to go again. Last night, or yesterday, I wanted to give up. It was frustrating. I was banging my head against the wall and couldn't close here, couldn't close there. Situations didn't work out necessarily, uh, but we were moving, we were going, we were saying things, we were doing stuff, but we were always moving forward. What am I? Uh, we were always moving forward. Just because we didn't sell a car today doesn't mean we're doing everything in our power to sell a car tomorrow. Uh, but there's nothing more powerful uh, than, than actually saying it's a today business. And, and I'll give you a little, a little hint, you know, if you truly want, if you truly want to purchase something right, obviously you're going to do your research before you come in. That's perfect. That's fine. That's dandy. But you want to come in, you, anybody that commits to me says, Dan, I'm going to buy a car from you. I looked them dead in the face and I said, nobody will work harder for you than me. If your commitment is to me to help you find the perfect vehicle, I'm confident that I will. I'm confident that I will. Even, even if it's not today, I will find you the right car. Maybe it's tomorrow. Maybe it's next week. Maybe it is today. 
because that's the way I have to think. I have to think that I'm going to find it for you today. And it's quite possible. When you have five stores and so many franchises, I mean, it's, you got a, over a thousand cars. I mean, I, I got them. I'm going to find them. But you commit to me to work that out. I promise it. You'll get a fair deal every time. You'll get a quality product every time. You just got to communicate with me. If you think the grass is greener on the other side and the deal down the road is more badass. Uh, I, I heard this is actually from Chris Penny, my co-manager here. He says, he says, price is one time. The vehicle and the options are the lifetime of you owning the vehicle. That's true. Cheaper doesn't mean better, guys. Cheaper doesn't mean better. Um, a good deal is, is perception. A good deal is finding the perfect vehicle that fits the wants and needs and the timeline of ownership for the person to put them in the best possible scenario and have it budgetable. That's the perfect deal. It doesn't matter if the car is $100,000 or $100. As long as you fill all those puzzle pieces the right way and don't skip any of them, you're gonna set your customer up for success. I'm gonna set you up for success. <laughs> it's tough though. You know why it's so tough? Because car salesmen, believe it or not, believe it or not, can you believe that some people think car salesmen are sleazebags? They're less than honest? Can you believe that? Some people look at my sales profession and they're like, oh man, you're the slime of the earth. What are you talking about? Guys, I'm a 40 year old grown ass man, father. I'm a good friend. I'm a good dad. I'm a good husband. I'm a great employee. I'm compassionate. I care. I'm the guy you want to buy a car from. I'm not saying everybody out there is like me, because that's actually impossible. I'm a manicorn. Ask my wife. Not everybody is going to do the right thing. I know that. That goes in any profession. You guys, that goes, that goes in any profession, okay? It's 2020. My industry is one of the, one of the leading industries that you can be in the sales world in, right? When I first got in the car business, this was early 2000s. Yeah, early 2000s. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's been that long. Early 2000s, and <clears throat> I had just had I just had my son, and I needed. I was working at Starbucks, which I loved working at Starbucks. All the coffee you could have, all the fun you can have. The only problem was is I didn't want to have an 18-year-old manager because I was I was older. I felt like I should be the manager, but. I needed to make more money. I just be, just become a father. My son was just uh, just turned a year old, and I was I needed to make a move in my life for a career. I was done with radio. I was uh, done with DJing and doing that whole circuit, <clears throat> and I needed to make a move to create income. Good morning, Lyle. If you guys see Lyle in the feed right here, Lyle is the Dan Couch in Grandview. I'm just saying he knows everybody there. In the Valley, Prosser, Grandview, Sunnyside, Lyle's the mayor. He holds it down. But, but uh, I was either going to get into the insurance business because I had met a gentleman that worked for, I think he worked for State Farm. He was getting ready to sell his book of business and had an entire career that was uh, successful. The guy, I, I would go uh, with, uh, um, with friends and we'd go to these big neighborhood these parties where they have like Halloween and Christmas and all this stuff and lived in a huge house in, in Arizona and I'm like man what do you do for a living I want to do that I'm trying to make that money <clears throat> I'm trying to provide that level of uh, life for my, my kids and he goes man you'd be great Dan and I said how long is it going to take to make money and he's like really it's like three to five years and I'm like oh dang it I got to make money now and I had an opportunity to go meet with, uh, with a gentleman by the name of uh, Henry Brown. He, owns a, he owned a Buick Pontiac GMC dealership. Um, 
and meet with a, one of his sales managers, Dominic, <clears throat> and go there and talk about the car business. And the car business is fast paced, is instantaneous. I can put, I can put my slacks and shoes and shirt on, clock in, and make money that day. And for some reason, that fast paced uh, atmosphere and, and, and sales process after talking to him was attractive to me. Now mind you, looking back, I probably absolutely would have been successful at selling insurance. I look back and everybody says, Dan, how come you aren't a realtor? How come you aren't a, a broker? You know what? I would absolutely be wildly successful at that too. You know why? Because I'm a salesman. But I do, I do love the car business because I'm changing the way people buy cars. I've said it for years. I'm changing the way that you buy a car. You sick of that atypical type of experience? I'm sure you are. It happened to me. I went shopping for a car. Before I got in the car business, I was shopping for cars too. High pressure, poor customer service. They didn't listen to me. They skipped all the sales steps, the processes. Didn't do their fact finding. This is what I'm telling you. This is what I'm telling you. When I say I'm changing the way that people buy cars, it's the truth. You're gonna get 100% from me every time. Me and my team here, yes, you come in, I'm the sales manager here. Everybody's like, well, you're the sales manager, you don't sell cars. I sell cars, I'm a car salesman, I'll always be a car salesman. I don't care if I'm upstairs doing licensing, I'm a car salesman, walking people, taking care of people, talking to people, referring people, selling people, that's it. So when I, when I talk about changing, changing the atmosphere, changing the temperature, changing the climate of what people expect when they come by a car, come find out. Come find out. I tell you what, here's a challenge. You, anybody that you know that's in the market to go buy a vehicle, go shop anywhere else anywhere else then before you buy maybe you find the perfect vehicle before you buy come talk to me come talk with my team come deal with me come sit down see the way that I'm doing it I promise you you're gonna be like whoa that's different or flip flop it flip flop it Come and see me first. Come and see me first. You'll walk through my door. Whatever your process is, I'm going to do that. Okay? If you want to test drive 10 cars, that's fine. If you just want to look at the brochures, perfect. You want to just come deal with me and go through my process and see the way that, that we're going to deal with it, see the way that we're going to fill in the blanks, see the way that we're going to approach your purchasing process, I guarantee you, I'm gonna push you out the door and be like, you know what? Go look. Because it'd be like a boomerang. You're going to come back. It happens time and time again. The only time, you know, the only time that it doesn't work, because it doesn't work 100% of the time. The only time it doesn't work is when people, when they are too, when they're not, re when they're not less than, when they're not receptive to, when it's all about price. Because truly, Price is one time. Hey, good morning, Andy. Good morning. Price is one time. The experience, the options, the vehicle. It's it's all it's all a lifetime of owning a vehicle. So you could go out and you could buy a cheap vehicle. You can. If that's what you want, I'll get it for you. But when you go look at a house and Let's put it this way. You go look at a house and you're thinking your range is here and here and you go out there and all of a sudden you walk in and you have your realtor that came up with the idea and the realtor's like, I have to show you this house because you talked to me and you told me that having a, a larger kitchen, a double oven, a third bedroom, another half bath, a basement, a larger yard, a barn, a shop, a third garage was important to you. I have to show you this because if I don't show you it, I'm doing you injustice. And you walk into that place and 
and every other place you liked it it was cool the kitchen was nice the barn was awesome it maybe it didn't have a shop maybe it didn't have a pool and you and you started to compromise and you started to compromise and you're like you know I could probably get by with this house I could probably we could make this work why settle why not find the perfect house that has the options? They're like, you know what? This place with the extra kitchen or the, the other bathroom or the bigger yard or this and that, it's, it's $3,000 more. It's a lifetime of being in that place. It's a lifetime of being happy and, and I guarantee you, you, you find that perfect puzzle piece You'll never be disappointed when you walk out into your larger yard. You'll never be disappointed when you open your car door and it's already running and it has remote start. You'll never be disappointed walking down into the basement of your home being like, man, I'm so glad we got this one with the basement so we can have the theater in it. You'll never be disappointed when you spend a little bit extra money to get that diesel truck now because you didn't know you were going to get a bigger trailer, boat, RV, later. Happens all the time, guys. If you truly open up the conversation to what you're trying to truly fit into your life, I will do it the right way. Stay positive. I'm going to end it there. I appreciate you listening. I appreciate uh, everything. I appreciate you guys following me. I appreciate you guys sending me business. I appreciate you always being receptive. It means the world to me. It means the world to me. Uh, I tell my guys all the time, it, it, you know, sometimes I fall off and I'll go weeks and weeks and weeks without making a video. I'm like, damn, where you been? Where you been? What you doing? How the things? You know, it's because even I slip, fall, and I get off track. But as long as you keep get, getting back on, that's what's important. You guys, I'm blessed beyond measure. Uh, I'm, I'm one of the happiest people on the planets. Uh, a planet's planet. Uh, one of the happiest people in the world. I, I truly am. I'm, I'm blessed. I'm thankful. I'm all the things. And I hope that you find a piece of your happiness today. I hope that you are charged in some way and you gain something from this, this conversation, whatever it is. I'd like to see your comments below. Um, it'd be cool if you liked and shared the video. That'd be awesome. Help spread the word. Remember to tell the people in your life that you love them. And that's so important, you guys. As of lately, I've, I've, I've seen... I've seen people that have passed and it's too early. I've seen that on, on, on pe people on Facebook that have lost loved ones. I've lost friends uh, throughout this year. So, you know, it's, it's truly important. You know, and my condolences to everybody that's lost someone this year. Uh, it's, it's been a tough, tough year on many facets, you guys. So remember to always tell the people in your life that you do love them. You guys, I love you. I hope you have a fantastic day. Remember to always smile and wave at people you don't know because you could just change their day. You guys, it's Dan Couch, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.